Something's not working right with the weed whacker. Okay, there's two parts to this. There's the battery, there's the weed whacker itself, and I'm going to suspect that it's the battery because one of the things I noticed is in charging it, if I go in here, it says, yep, okay, we're charging, that's fine. And then it'll get to a point where it starts popping back and forth between green and red. And while it doesn't really show it here, it shows that this is, uh, that means it's a defective battery. <sighs> So I'm going to take a quick look at the battery itself and see if it's the battery or if it's the uh, weed whacker. What it seems like is happening is that there's an overheat condition or an overcurrent condition and that's shutting down the system. My thinky bits are saying that it's most likely in the battery pack. Uh, there's usually a battery management system that comes with a lithium ion batteries that will uh, shut it down in an overcurrent condition or an overheat condition or something like that. Uh, batteries usually go more defective than the electronics of the weed whacker itself. I'm really suspecting the battery pack. So I could try and put this on a bench power supply and run it and see if it works. I don't think I need to do that. I'm pretty sure it's the battery. I'm at about an 80% right now. So I'm going to give it a bit to charge and see what happens. Now the battery pack itself is held together by these four screws. They are a T15 security bit, which, goodness, I happen to have. How could that happen? If you can see it or not, but there's there are four contacts in this battery. There's the minus, the plus, and then a T1 and T2. This is the uh, thermal sensor that says, "Hey, you know, this the battery's getting too hot." And these are the two power legs. Mm, so I'm betting if I put a meter on there, I'm going to get full voltage across these two, or something approaching full voltage. Okay, maybe we should try that. All right, this is probably not the safest thing in the world, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, let's see. Plus is this side. What I'm doing here is I'm putting in some sense wires. I want to try and find out whether or not the voltage is being cut off in the battery or if it's being cut off in the electronics and, and the barking dog. So, do this. 
I know, it's, it's very sketchy, but trust me, I'm an engineer. trying to do this without being destructive because I really kind of like this weed whacker. I'd like to keep it operating. It's not breaking. Hmm. Maybe I have to go test this under load. So what I discovered is that indeed when it does drop out under load, it's the battery pack that is no longer providing power to the unit. So the problem is in the battery pack itself. Hey, good. That's what we call domain reduction for problem solving. Doing this with a metal implement is probably not the best idea, but it's what I got. Oh, there we go. That's a uh, pretty decent little beastie. I wonder if it... Uh, this is kind of fun because I'm pretty sure that these are the balance... No, no, this is a connector for the little LED strip. out. Does it come out? It doesn't want to come out. I don't want to go dig into it too much, but there are 10 of these uh, 18650 cells in here. I'm pretty sure there are 10. I mean, it's like 5 and 5. They're probably connected in series. Yeah, that's not not wanting to come out. All right, I don't want to dig into this too far. Battery pack is hosed. Um, Probably we'll get a new battery pack, but this one, I don't know. I might look into it and see. I'm, there's an overheat condition happening in here, and I'm not sure where that is happening. It could be overheat or overcurrent. Not sure which, but, you know, I mean, the thing has got a pretty decent charge. Hmm. I don't know, but... We've eliminated the issues down to it's the battery pack itself, so I guess we'll go from there. New battery pack time. <laughs>